Hello and welcome to the Infinity Watch. I'm your host, the Ultimate MCU Man, and I'm here to talk to you guys about Avengers issues 26 and 27. Now let's jump right into the review. Uh, issue 26 starts off with the Age of Dinosaurs and how the very first superhero was created on the planet Earth, and it happened to be in the form of a T-Rex star brand. Yeah. And then we see a version of Adam and Steve being attacked by... Uh, the deviants over a garden that they had discovered and kept and named fruits and vegetables after and everything. Uh, only for them to be overwhelmed so much that they actually landed in the place of the uh, star brand, the original one. And one of the cavemen becomes the new star brand, the in-place version of the Hulk for Avengers BC. Meanwhile, that's going on. Uh, we also figure out that the Shi'ar Empire is being attacked by a mysterious foe. And Gladiator is going to go check it out after he is told by the Brood and everybody that this is, this is a big deal. He's told uh, his inferiors that if he doesn't come back in a certain amount of time, call the Avengers. Which they seem to have, announced, which they seem to have uh, allowed a new person in their ranks. And as they're all getting ready... We see them all get ready only to be captured by the Shi'ar Empire and a whole lot of things have popped off. Thor became a brood. Uh, Carol went through a black hole. She-Hulk is beating up brood aliens outside of their ship only to find that Captain Marvel just landed and starts shooting up the place. And we find that while that's going on, Thor has been questioning his wor his worthiness to Mjolnir. After that, on the other side of the galaxy, we see the Ghost Rider, Blade, and Black Widow seemingly running from the Silver Surfer, which the Power Cosmic cannot escape. Uh, to one of these issues, which is 26, I have a... This is my review for it. To issue 27, I am really stoked to figure out what's going on. The Avengers book has been has been interesting. It has really been throwing some interesting curveballs into a lot of characters, and you know, like they they seem to Aaron seems to really show that the Avengers are really Earth's mightiest heroes, and keeps giving them threats that would warrant them coming together. And I have to say, this is one of those books that I feel like both of them are kind of like must reads. I don't really care about Avengers BC. Me personally.